I usually film when my husband's at work and he's home. And so it's a little weird. Like I think I'm like self-conscious that he can like hear me and he's judging me. <laughs> Did you hear him cough? I don't know. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay, it has been roundaboutly a month. Aboutly is not a word. I make up words and don't pronounce syllables all the time. You've probably noticed. Anyway, it's been about a month since we did the um, Project 10 Uses All Eyeshadow, and that is totally inspired from Paula. It's a beauty guru who made me do it, and so I'm going to have her link down below. You should definitely go check her out. Go send her some love. She still is currently like doing this project. Um, the way hers differs is that she brings in like all makeup. I just wanted to... I had a bunch of eyeshadow palettes so I was like I'm on the fence about these and so um, that was kind of like why I just made mine all eyeshadow so the first palette that we were working on just to use like 10 times just to make a decision was the ABH soft glam palette and now in case you've been living under a rock here's what it looks like no I did not finish that black shade off I dug it out I had a moment of like madness where I dug out all my black shadows. I'm not mad about it because I don't use them but probably won't continue to do that because it just makes the palette look kind of off you know. Anyway I have to apologize to you guys. I promise I have used this 10 times and but I don't have pictures. <laughs> I'm terrible at taking pictures and like I feel like when I take them on my phone it like it just doesn't look right and so I'm like delete that um but I can tell you some of my favorite looks that I did so I really enjoyed like orange soda and burnt orange here these two like this one's the lighter one and then this one these two were just like all the time like transition type shades for me dusty rose was like another good like kind of like deeping deepening deepening it so like I would put orange soda down and really blow that out on my eye and then do dusty rose more like in the eye socket essentially and then you know rustic and cypress umber were two shades that I would use like in the outer V and then I would just alternate between the lid shades in here I think out of all the lid shades bronze ended up being my favorite one so and the other good thing is too cypress umber works as an eyebrow shade i'm getting ready to finish off my current shade that i use in my eyebrows and so i'm like a little panicked like looking for shades to use to replace that um so it's good to know that cypress umber will work so yeah i'm a little upset i thought i picked this palette first for project 10 uses because i thought when i rolled it in i was like you probably gonna get rid of that you have tons of neutral palettes but then I used it 10 times and I'm like, ah, I can't. Like, I love this. Everyone says that, like, Modern Renaissance is, like, the cult classic. Like, no, I think this one is. I just love it so much more. So, she's staying. She's staying. She's staying. Okay. I promise to get way better at taking pictures for you guys, even if I think they look horrible. Like, that way this makes it like a little more fun and interesting. So other disclaimer that I have to tell you, I know that in the like intro video, I showed you all of these palettes, like the original Urban Decay palette. And you know, um, I mean, that's the only one that comes to mind. So this will, this will show you. I <laughs> decluttered all of those. I sent them to a good friend. She, it's her and she has a lot of females in her life. And I was like, just seriously looking at those palettes. And I was just like, you're not like even after you use the urban decay like original palette 10 times like you're probably just gonna get rid of it like i just i knew that so it was like just let me go ahead instead of dragging out this process and making it so terribly long so most of those palettes have been passed on to a good home which i feel good about i hope that she's really enjoying them and you know okay um, so I do have one palette though that I did keep that was in that original like collection that I showed you. So let me go and grab it and that'll be our next palette that we do for Project 10 uses. Okay, so the one palette that I kept out of all of that is the Tarte Unleashed. I know on the front it says Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free, but on the back here it's too reflective. You'll just have to take my word for it. On the back it does say Unleashed. 
I'm not sure if this palette is still available or not. When I looked it up on Sephora, I was able to find it, but that's been like two weeks ago. So here it is. It's very pretty, but it is just like still a standard neutral palette with like the two pops of blue like we have been seeing. However, I really love the Tarte formula and I absolutely love this shade Hawkward right here, but you can't keep a palette for one shade. You just can't. So I did go through because I've said since day one, like after getting this into my hands, this reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And you might look at this and think I'm crazy, but I did like on my own, like swatch them out and find like a bunch of dupe shades. And if I remember correctly, like over half of this palette is in that Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I think I'll do a video just to show you the comparisons. So I'm going to use this 10 times because I do love the Tarte formula. But after those 10 times, like I really need to like have a heart to heart with myself. Like, do I need both of those palettes? Um, so yeah, this will be the next one that we roll in. Like I said, I will remember to take better pictures. So then your next question might be like, well, is this going to be like over with once you, you know, evaluate this palette? Because that was all of like the palettes that you were bringing in essentially. Like, no, I'm still going to do project 10 uses all eyeshadow um so what'll happen though is like after we use this one 10 times and i update you guys and we make a decision then i'm just going to like select a palette within my collection that i feel like isn't getting any love or maybe it's a new one that i just haven't had a chance to like really play around with and i'm going to bring them in that way so the rest of the palettes are probably ones that i'm going to keep but i like the idea of this project one it's going to like help break up the monotony of like pan that palette and pan those eyeshadows Two, it'll make sure that things are getting rotated through in my collection so even if we're not hitting pan on something like using an eyeshadow palette 10 times and then switching to another one that's still really good to me like it's still got touched within the year you know so that's kind of like my thought process i hope you guys are on board with that i mean i guess you kind of have to be since i made all the decisions by myself but you get what i'm saying so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Okay.